one again. Uh, how did it feel though being out there on Saturday? You know, like old times, you know, I have close to like 20 starts in my belt, you know, it's, it's good to be back out there on the field. I really missed it a lot. You, but I mean, you started between two guys you haven't started between before. How, how did that, did it take a little bit to kind of get in sync with them? I mean, through the week of practice and into the game? You know, at first, I, you know, that's what I, it was my big concern too, because I usually play, play with Turnley and I played with Ross a lot last year. And then we went with Artie Rao and Biz on the left side. And it was a whole different thing for me, but it really clicked really easy. Biz, Biz is a really good player and Artie knows everything. You no, know, he makes every call. So he's, they're both smart players so it made the transition really easy. What was it like for you? I mean, just the last year, I guess, sort of the injury and then I guess having to embrace the, the backup role like, like you've had to this past season. I mean, I guess, honestly, I could say, honestly, you know, you get a little, you start, you get upset, you know, you know, you get hurt, you know, and then you come back and your spot's not there, and you, it's hard not to get mad, but then you realize, you look back on your career, and, you know, I didn't, I didn't have a, you know, a terrible career, I had, you know, played a lot, you know, I, I said to myself, I said, I, there's no reason for me to be bitter, I had my limelight, you know, it's time, maybe it's time for me to pass on to someone else, and then when my time got called up again this year, it was nice that I could step back in that role. Did you always kind of, you know, keep that in your mind? Like, you know, I know I'm going to get a chance to go and just gonna be ready for what it comes I always, I always work like that. You know, there's always that one chance. You know, I, you never root for anyone to get hurt or anything like that. But, you know, there's always that chance that someone gets rolled up on or something like someone's shoe falls off. You have to be ready to go for a second. It seems like you guys have a pretty good relationship among the offensive linemen. I mean, did that, did that help as you're going through that? Like, you're talking about, you know, not getting bitter or anything. Did it kind of help to have a good relationship with those guys? Yeah, I mean, it, if it was someone I didn't like, you know that that would probably that would probably make it a lot worse, you know. But you when you when you're going with when one of your friends is stepping up, it's you're a unit, you know. It's a lot of people don't play offensive line; they don't understand that, you know. But it's you don't you don't get judged by one other person; you are judged as five people. So, you know, no one ever goes, "Oh, left guard got beat." You no, know, it's the offense line got beat. So, it's it's a one it's a it's a living organism, you know. It's that's how you have to think about it. So it's nice to see that. How much confidence does it give the offense to to see a guy like Isaac go out there and have a career day and know that you helped contribute to that? A lot of confidence. You know, Isaac Isaac's always been a hard runner, and it's nice that he, you know, he finally broke it open. You know, really carried it really well last game. You know, he's going to do really well next game. I know that he's he's just probably the smartest back I've ever been around. You know, you know he's not he's maybe not the quickest as like Ray or Dion, but he just he knows exactly where to go. He knows the cuts. He knows the blitz pickup. He knows everything. So. It's good to have him in the backfield. Was Corey? Uh, you talked to Corey on the sideline you know, after your series uh, during the game. During the game, yeah, he was telling me about what I was doing wrong, what I was doing right. You know, he told me how my sets went, everything. Like you know, he's he's not he's a team player. He knows exactly. Like he went down, but he's he's still part of that unit, so he's gonna be there for us too. You know, it's, it's everyone steps up and steps back. You know, that's how it works. You, you've been you've been here for a while. Obviously, it's your fifth year, but. Uh, what do you think of this offensive line group? I mean, the top top five and even you know top nine or ten or whatever it is. What are some of your impressions of it? It's obviously a young group, some inexperience out there. But what do you what do you kind of make of this this unit? Well, you know, we are we start off a little inexperienced. We lost you know Turnley and Lumpy last year. We moved two guys in to play tackle. So it's that beginning of the year. You're like these guys. You know, I don't think anyone started at the position they played at ever or something like that. So it started off, you know, maybe a little rough, but then we really picked it up. You know, it's. You know these kids. It's it's easy that you know it's easy to see that they really learn quick. You know you watch the film and and some things maybe just snap and you know we can't be we can't be we can't be bad. We have to carry this team. There's there's no down period. It's just reload. You know people people have to step up. Do you have a sense of the tradition at Navy? What the game day is like down there? And is are you pretty excited to be able to get down there? I've always you know I've I've seen like videos. I watched the Army Navy game and. You know, they, it's the tradition they have down there is, is unbelievable. You know, Pitt always has obviously some tradition, but I don't know if it's anything compared to what they have. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Take care. <it's> <laughs> my, my roommate wants to ride home, so. Are you looking forward? To, I mean, it's something a little different from what you usually get. Yeah, this, you know, it's it's not like uh, it's not like Virginia Tech to come out there and are Sandman or anything like that. It's it's like a it's like a different atmosphere, you know. It's you know you have to res it's a different respect, you know. It, Virginia Tech's, you know, you come out and it's it was pretty like just loud and exciting, but this one's, you know, it's just different. You know, it's it's more honor and stuff like these kids, they they play hard. Every there's no there's no series off. There's no plays off. It's it's incredible to watch them play. Anything else? Thanks.